The truth is that we all have a finite amount of Septembers. September is this, this culminating month that as an elk hunter, you probably don't think about any other month in this way. In fact, you don't. You start to think about who am I gonna spend this finite amount of time with in the mountains. So as I start this hunt and we dive into the mountains and I'm with two guys that I've never been in the mountains with before, there, there is a little bit of risk. And there's risk on their part too, to, to hunt with, with a guy like me that I'm 20 years their senior. As I get older, I realize that each one of these Septembers that I prepare for year round is, is sacred. It's sacred time and it's time that, that I recognize that the, the experiences I'm going to have will be singular and unique. We took a little nap here and uh, strung up the hammocks, kind of like to do it in style. We got some Z's and uh, we're just gonna head out and toss off bugles every little bit, see if we can find someone that wants to play ball with us and drop in and put an arrow through something. I mean, I'm okay missing. I just want to know, like, I missed, find the arrow, move on. That's the hardest part is just, yeah, moving on, like knowing what, uh, what our next move should be. Dude, even though this crap happens, I freaking love elk hunting. It's so fun. When you start hunting with people that you've never hunted with before, it takes a few days to work out the kinks, and we were presented with some opportunities those first couple days, and you know, shot opportunities that came faster than we thought they would, and, and unfortunately, we missed. Both James and I missed elk on that first day, and what would typically be a, a super low point, I don't think we were far enough into our hunt yet to reach a low point. back up through like around this knob yeah or we can just go straight to the ridge and work up if you want to end up up higher when we went past the flagging i was like we got to come back farther because we didn't come this high up it sucks to miss but it's so relieving to to find it clean
a lot of things going through my head that shouldn't be going through your head when you're trying to shoot so I overestimated the yardage I thought he was closer to 40 yards so that's where I put my pin and he was more like 25 just a little ravine in between he and I and I think it kind of threw off my perception of it but clean miss apparently this is the uh this is a secret weapon we've been missing this whole time never done the whole paint thing i've always been a mask guy i watch those guys with born and raised they kind of do the little hey sad like windy thing <laughs> do this <laughs> it's weird sometimes you can't explain it to people they're like wait a second you walk around like aimlessly it's no trail take it to like some beautiful vista or lake. This is what we do. It makes us stoked all year long. The bull behind us sounded off. It was kind of perfect. Until the wind shifted again and then we uh, got busted. So we're gonna set up the hammocks, which has become one of our favorite things to do. We're gonna string up hammocks, grab some food, Take a little nappy nap and uh, wake up, hopefully, to a chorus of bugling either that direction or this direction. So. You're supposed to be calling anyway. I am the caller. Yeah. I will count call. Okay. Ones. Yes. And the bulls will come running. said that before about three days ago, but this is the kind of day that elk hunters dream about. Right there, right there, right there, right there. There's the cow. Jason. 
James bugles at him, he spins and comes back. This is the day that wasn't supposed to be. It was a uh, total dice roll. It had three different spots that I was going to um, bring us. And at a whim, I just said, let's come here. We decided last night to just pull back, <clears throat> not to bump him. Situations like these, I try to stay cautiously optimistic, but it's hard not to get negative or not to feel like the worst can happen, but uh, James and Justin are a lot more positive than I am this morning. But we looked at the footage and it looks like uh, the arrows in him you can barely tell. Beautiful morning, the sunrise is looking really pretty, but we'll see, we'll see what we, what we find up here. Dude. Dude, shut up. Shut up. I, are you serious? Where? Where's he at? Are you serious? No left. way. James. He shot him right, he was right there. Holy crap. There's dude, your, dude. there's your flagging tape. He's right there dude, right in front of you. JT, you were right man, you were right. That was him. Holy crap, what is it? Oh my goodness. I told you. I don't believe it. I told you. Yes, buddy. <laughs> Oh, dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Get that bowl. Oh, man. There's that shot. That's right. It's quartering LA. Punch him up here. Liver. Mid chip. You saw it. I can't believe it. I'm so happy for you. Good job. This has been a hunt to remember. This hunt. Way to call him in, bud. <laughs> He turned around because of you. 90 yards. He went 90 yards. Oh my goodness. I've knocked that arrow so many times. I'm, I just want to draw back. I just want one more chance. I just, I just wanted one chance after blowing it that Monday morning, Monday midday. Talking as we were sitting in the hammocks right before we started this evening hunt. We were just, remember I threw you the Hail Mary pass? I'm like, it's Hail Mary time. <laughs> I threw a pass and James, he caught it. You know, you, you plan and you work towards spending time with the right people and people that you enjoy being around with and people that you want to grow closer to and, and create a bond. It's, it's amazing to see how the experience in the mountains during September elk hunting together can create the type of friendship that, that will last a very long time. James and I are gonna be hunting together for a while. Yeah. Ah. Even 
I'm 20 years a senior. It's crazy to think I was out of high school two years when that kid was born. I loved hunting with him this week. Can't thank uh, Kendall enough for, you know, letting me be a part of this. And I can't wait to share the footage with all you guys because I've got some good stuff and it's going to be a great story. And I think you guys will like it. <laughs>